a hammerhead, one of the most exciting animals to encounter under the water. Unexpected, silently moving in its habitat, it will make the delight of any diver. The joy, the adrenaline and the excitement that you feel is priceless. What is also priceless are these two salty sailors asking this question of who were it better? This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet both above and below the surface and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. sitting uh, on anchor, same island that uh, we dropped Chloe off to, and uh, monsoon season has finally caught up to us. Frankly, it was just like dreary and gray, and, and that's kind of how the mood's been. Every time that we lose a crew member, it uh, certainly like changes a lot, you know? Every time we add a crew member, it changes a lot. So, we've, um, yeah, missed Chloe already. Uh, actual looming rain clouds over us at the same time. Just ah. So today we decided, you know, let's go do what we love. We're gonna go scuba diving. We're gonna go on a land adventure as well. And um, yeah, so let's go get wet. I haven't dove since Chloe left, so it's been three days tonight. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we're gonna go scuba diving. There's no actual dive sites around, so we're just gonna do exploratory diving on the outer reef and see what we can find. Let's go. Meanwhile, boys are putting the gear in the dinghy. Diving, anything can happen. Even sharks can appear out of nowhere. Silent, calm, suspicious swimmers that can sort burst up to 35 miles per hour. Scary, isn't it? But at the same time, when these incredible animals unexpectedly swim past you, they give you the most magical moment that you can ever imagine. For me, there isn't anything more majestic to witness than that. This little fella eats a delicacy for most human beings. During the day, it hides in rock cells to escape predators like us, but sometimes they are curious and they approach us for a little check. And at night, they can even swim more than 200 meters from the safety of the nearest reef outcrop. Such a brave hunter. But travel larks. 
divers are permitted to catch crayfish when they are approximately two years old in countries like Australia and New Zealand, but in a lot of countries it is forbidden because of its dangerousness to the diver and also because it doesn't guarantee marine preservation. Who wore it better? I think we know who wore it better. I think I wore it. Nerea's wearing Nate's signature pink glasses. Mm -hmm. And Nate's wearing Nerea's signature Tupac bandana. Tupac bandana. We That's just wanted to be wet. Yeah. Ooh, got that. Whatever, we just want to get wet. Come on, big girl. Let's go. Everybody's going. All your friends are going. Good. Oh, good pig. Yeah. Not a bad spot. I wonder if she'll jump off. Come on, Squeaks! Oh, don't push her, baby! Hey, hey Guapa! What do you think about our little island we found? It's a uh, pretty idyllic, I'll say. And today it's kind of a special day because it's gonna be uh, with us at least. Peanuts last uh, beach experience and afternoon, so we wanted to make the most of it and gave her everything, all the joy, all the army crafts, all the running, all the swimming that she wants to have before leaving. Yeah. My funny memory is when this little baby started snorting for the first time. Uh, Do you remember uh, when everybody was on the decks and Osha and I thought yeah. were drinking beers and so for the first time she tried a little bit of beers and she went crazy? So... Yeah, show, show the, the, the police place. <laughs> <laughs> Like people know peanuts more than us. <laughs> For example, in Munda, when we went into town the other day to go to the airport, um, I saw the security guard of the hotel by where we've been parking the boat, and he's like, "Where's peanuts?" And we we went to the airport to ask a question, and they were like, "Oh, you guys um, have the pig, right?" And and I remember at Christmas we went to John Rufus Village, and. And we weren't with anyone, like we just pulled up, it was our first time coming into this village, we were all alone in the dinghy, and we had Peanut with us, and we pulled up, and there's some guy sitting on the jetty, and he goes, hey Peanut, and we were like, how does he know Peanut, and he had been, coincidentally, in another village that we had been in before, and he remembered her, and we were me. everybody loves her, everywhere she goes, she's the center of attention, she makes everybody laugh, and Smile. It's okay. But yes.
Peanuts in her vlogger mode. Vlogger piggy. Go vlogger piggy, go. We don't usually film it that much because it's kind of our family relaxation chill time. But one of our, my favorite things to do is we love taking Peanut for a walk on shore. She has a cute little harness. She goes crazy and she loves to run around and dig and schnout. And so today we're taking her on probably our favorite walk that we've found so far in the Solomons. It's a really nice trail that goes through the, the bush and then out onto the beach and then does like a whole little loop around the island. So we're going to take her for a little walk. Let's go. And we kind of prepare like her favorite meals. So red bean, some quinoa, papaya, and banana plantain uh, fries with uh, an exquisite mm. tomato sauce on top. Oh, yeah. Fantastic presentation. Yeah. yeah, well done. I'm sure Peanut is gonna really admire <clears throat> the beautiful setup and then this eat it slowly and savor every bite and say thank you so much for preparing me this amazing meal. Yeah, I think her thank you was gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Inat. Mm. Come on, big girl. Mm. Oh, oh come know, on, you know, it's dinner time. It's your day. Come on, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, he, oh my God. Special dinner. Yeah. I, I think it's the biggest meal that we have ever. I like wow. one of the biggest yeah. meals that we have ever prepared for Peanut. <laughs> she's had bigger meals too that she wasn't supposed to have where she's yeah. stolen some snacks that she shouldn't be eating. Like 12 eggs yesterday, Peanut. Remember that? <laughs> no, stay. All the stay. All the tricks. Stay. All the tricks. Stay. Stay. Go. Oh. No <laughs> she did sit. Oh my goodness. doing well I don't know there's a lot of things about having a pig on board that I don't know I always planned that I was gonna make a video about what it's like what peanuts life is really like and how we take care of her but I didn't really expect that we wouldn't have the time to do it but anyways so peanut this is peanuts toilet and it's like a Tupperware that we cut the little side out of for her to go in mm -hmm. and we fill it with dirt from shore mm -hmm. and she poops and pees in it and how do we get the dirt? We get the dirt in a variety of ways, but normally I just take a shovel and ben, peanut, 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 peanut no. no, peanut, no. That's what that's what life is really like. Yeah. Just telling peanut no half the time. <laughs> Thank you, God. Um, but normally I take a shovel and a bucket to shore and find like sometimes it's just sand if there's no dirt. For example, we've been to islands in the Solomons where there's literally no dirt. Oh, mm -hmm. Peanut actually has to go, so I'm gonna put it in mm -hmm. now. Okay. She gets her fresh dirt mm -hmm. every couple days, depending on where we are, sometimes more. Why does she like fresh dirt? And then she likes it when it's fresh and she'll schnout in it and play in it. What and is she hoping to find in it? Hermit crabs, to eat. rocks. She likes to eat rocks, hermit crabs. Mm -hmm. You never know what kind of treasures she's going to Look at her little tail, she's all excited. Yeah, all right, get go in get there. in there, Peanut. Get in there, She knows. Yeah. yeah. Is she going to explore it for a minute? Yeah. So she likes to just sniff around. Sometimes there's bugs or mm -hmm. you never know. I don't know. She could be eating all kinds of stuff that we don't even know about <laughs> in there. Oh, mm -hmm. go get it, Squeaks. Um, but yeah, so this is her toilet and she poops and pees in it about 95% of the time and whenever she goes she gets a little treat we keep the little treats on the side and that keeps her happy to go in the box um, but back to your question before where do we get the dirt well from shore obviously but for example in the Solomons there's islands where it's only sand and there's no dirt or there's islands where 
it's not really very easy to go to shore. And for one time, we we really needed new dirt for her, and we couldn't get to shore with the dinghy. And so we asked one of the guys that lives in the village there in his canoe. Um, we traded him um, a couple pairs of sunglasses for him to take her box, and fill it up with dirt, and then bring it back. So we went. <laughs> he took it in his canoe, and he paddled home, filled it up with dirt, and then paddled back out in his canoe with this big bucket full of <laughs> fresh dirt for Peanut. She was a very happy pig. Yeah. Where is she? She's, yeah. she's trained us that this is where it goes though, huh? Yeah, we wanted it to be in the back, but I don't know why, but she just loves it up here. Yeah. And if we have it in the back, she poops here anyway, <laughs> so then we just <laughs> put the box here yeah. and that's where she goes. Let's mm. look at this nice dirty snap. Come here, Peanut. Oh. Let's show everyone your, oh. Let's show everyone your snout. Oh, that's a happy pig, huh? <laughs> That's a happy pig. What are you doing? Bringing little Peanut's flag down. Aww. Yeah, her Vanuatu flag. Maybe this time we'll see if we can get Peanut to make us her little smudge mark, and we'll we'll keep this one on board. We'll send her with uh, her bandana. Just about to show uh, Jordan my Peanuts video because this last phase uh, I made a video for Peanut for her goodbye because tomorrow morning we are Jordan and I we are going to Honiara to give Peanut to her new land family and I don't know I think this has been the highlight of this last month's experience and. I don't know how we are going to do without her and we are going to miss her so much, so badly that at least the least I can do is uh, have her little goodbye video and let's see. If you want to watch the video, don't miss out next week's episode, the saddest day on Sylvia. The global pandemic made us take an ultimate decision. We need to go to Australia and Peanut is not allowed to come with us. Heartbroken, we had to find her a new home. It's been pretty tough in a lot of ways. Like, she's definitely 95 percent of the time she's an angel and then the other five percent of the time like she can be quite she can have like temper tantrums if she's hungry and you don't feed her in time or if she wants to do something and you don't want her to and so let, let her go let her go Chilling with a thumbs up our butts for a couple days now. Sad, depressed, Chloe left. Like we are leaving, and she will follow. Peanut! 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 Peanut!